Have you ever wondered what the first step in the home buying process is? Stay tuned and we'll answer that question for you in a minute. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Jody Donaldson here with the Donaldson team of Century 21 New Millennium. Welcome to our video blog, which is our way of keeping you updated on all things real estate. I'm lucky to have Tim Curtin from AmeriCorps Mortgage Services with me today to talk to you about some mortgage questions that we get asked frequently. Before we get started, I wanted to point out that if you'd like to receive a free home valuation report or search for available homes for sale in the Washington DC area, please click on the appropriate links on my blog to get that information. Now back to our topic. First off, Tim, I wanna thank you for being with us today. My pleasure, thank you. The first step in a home buying process is to get pre-qualified with a lender. That's right. What does that entail? Uh, give your lender a call. Uh, talk to them about what you're trying to do. At this point, all you know is that you want to buy a home. Uh, they go through the process of getting your personal information, your assets, your your income, and figuring out what you qualify for based on what the lender will allow. Is there a difference between pre-qualification and pre-approval? The, the pre-qualification is kind of a preliminary step. It, uh, it's based only on the information that you give them. The pre-approval is where they go through the process of authenticating all the information that you give them. Okay. Speaking of information, what type of documents would, you, would be required for a home purchase? We typically ask for 30 days worth of pay stubs, uh, W-2s for the last two years. Uh, if you have investment income or if you're self-employed, we'll ask for two years tax returns. Mm -hmm. uh, bank statements for the last two months, that'd be checking, savings, retirement, any investment accounts that you'd have, and a photo ID. That's pretty simple. Yep. If the, the, the length of the process from beginning to end when you're buying a home, what, what are we looking at for the underwriting and loan process? All process from the uh, point where you have a ratified contract, where you find a place that you want to buy, to uh, taking a loan to closing, it's about 30 days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I always tell people when they're pre-qualifying, if they have good work history, good credit, solid income, that they might qualify for more than what they truly can afford. Right. Can you explain kind of what I mean by that yeah. and, and working from the monthly payment? That's a good point. A lot of times, I mean, the lender's going to let you borrow as much as their guidelines will allow, right. but a lot of times that's beyond what your budget will allow. So the first step in the process is to figure out what you can tolerate as far as a monthly payment and then working backwards to figure out what kind of property that'll buy you. Yeah. Well, this has been great information. I mean, the inventory's up. Rates are still at historic lows. Sure. If you don't know whether you could buy or not, now would be a good time to find out. It doesn't cost anything to take an application, so give a lender a call and, and uh, find out what you can buy. Right. Well, if you would like to reach out to Tim and see if you could qualify for a home purchase, his information is on the screen there. Please reach out to him. If you have any, any real estate related questions, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you. I hope this information has been helpful. Have a great week.